Good afternoon, welcome to the old countryside farm. This is the first in the series of my Let's Play. So, where do we start? So we own 31, 32 and 30. 31 is ready for harvest, 32 needs fertilising, 30 is growing. So, as you can see we've moved the farm around, we started on scratch. <coughs> we've gone with the mercury farm silos and some of the mercury farm sheds down there. We've got to buy anything and we've got one shed up here. We've got New Holland for this one. First time I've experienced New Holland tractors, so let's jump in and get fertilising. So like I said, this is the first of the Let's Play series on the old countryside farm for Plowman Gaming which is a new channel for us, something new, something we're experimenting with. Um, been playing this game for about six months and um, yeah, really enjoying it at the moment. So we're on PS4 at the moment. Right, let's get her lined up. Okay, so we'll wait for that to get to its growth stage. I quite like this farmyard, all the fields are around the farm. Um, plenty of cell points. Shop's not far away. Works well for me. So we've got plenty of money in the bank at the moment, but the plan is to buy the BGA. <clears throat> uh, we've got cows and we have some grass around near the cows so we're going to be utilising that grass area I think if my memory serves me right we decided to purchase well, let's just have a look yep so it's silage bales is what the plan there is then that's the master plan so we don't need to buy the BGA we can sell the bales for about the same price over at the haystack. But yeah, it's going to be a quite a short episode series. This, uh, like I said, it's new to us. We're just trying to figure out what we're doing, what we want to do on the channel. And that's not the best start, is it, no? Missing a bit. Let's start again. Right, we'll let him carry on. Let's go and get the trailer.
Well, because we've gone with the Mercury Farm silo, we'll be pretty restricted on the type of trailer that we can have. So we've got what we call our yard trailer there, uh, which is the TDK. And then we've gone for the Crampy. Let's see how these cows are doing. So the cow yard is over at the top end, in between 32 and 34, you can see on the mini map there. We've only got a small cow pasture. But what we've tried to do is um, keep it as real as possible. So you can see all the grass area around here. Um, Probably the plan would be by 33 and 35 and probably make it all grass. But then I suppose we could do some weird and wonderful crops in there if we needed. So let's see how the cows are getting on. So we need some water, some towel mix ration. Right, well let's go and get that sorted out. So we've got the little New Holland skid steer here. Uh, that's generally for cleaning up and taking the manure out. We've got a little um, farm tech trailer over here. Uh, and that's for the manure and that's just the uh, tractor for the yard over here with a bale spike on it <coughs> because we've had a few issues on past games where we've uh, we use the circular bales and they tend to roll around a little bit so Right, let's go and get some TMR. So it's not a realistic series this, it's just for fun. Hence we've got the uh, the filling station, which I am regretting a little bit. I've put it a little bit too far back where I wanted it to go, but hey ho, can't have everything. So 30 and 32 fields, we've got soya beans in and that's what we're going to keep. Uh, we're going to do soya beans as the first main harvest once we've harvested what's in 31. And then probably rotate between soya beans and canola. And that's generally the plan. We're going to start looking at some contracts as well to see if we can push the money up a bit. I don't want to get too big too quick. We did want some money in the bank just in case we decided to buy some extra equipment. So we've got the option there to do that if required. But at the moment I'm happy with what we've got. And uh, yeah, let's go farming.
so I think we've got about 25 cows and we'll tend to keep it at 25 cows there's no need to have any more over time that should give us enough milk enough slurry and enough manure to sell um, that's the plan anyway every time we go slightly over 25 cows like if we get to 30 then we'll sell five and just keep some money in the account so yeah we started on scratch um, the walled farmyard very nice nice buildings um, but you know we thought we'd try something different um, so starting from scratch and uh, creating our own farm is kind of what we opted for and it's worked out quite well you you start off with this white building here that's all you get walls are obviously down from the yard so I um, really like the mercury farm stuff so we we're always going to have to have some of those in the yard the multi-filling station goes without saying on all our yards so we're currently running a few of the farms as well we've got Peterville which is uh, one of the favorites at the moment But we're giving this one a whirl, see how we get on. I've never done contracts on this map before, so uh, yeah, we're going to have to give it a whirl and see what it's all about. Yes, crop destruction is off. We're liming, we're fertilising, we don't do ploughing even though we're a ploughman. Right, we'll leave him there. Looks like that sprayer might be sat there for a while. Well, that's not growing fast at all, is it? How are we getting on over here? Nope. Still nothing. Right, what I'm going to do is save the game. Brilliant. Speed it up a bit. like we might end up going through the night but I don't want to because I don't want it to get through to the last growth stage because it does need fertilizing to get the best yield but we can only do what we can do so yeah we've still got quite a bit of room at the top of the yard here not sure what to do with it got a space there for a little shed um, got plenty of space there. I like a bit of open space for the combine. The combine's a big bit of kit. I like to keep it open. Um, because of the fields that we've purchased, we do get this barn here. And obviously we do get the barns over near the 
cow pasture where we've put the cow pasture because you don't start with any animals on start from scratch <coughs> so yeah that's where we're at at the moment um, and it looks like it's growing so if we slow down the time and go and jump in the uh, fertilizer it's half seven so we'll set the worker off get him working through the night we're paying him anyway so we might as well work through the night he's been sat there doing nothing for a while Yeah, so I decided to go with not the biggest sprayer in the world, but I wanted to keep all the tractors the same. So, uh, yeah, New Holland. Put sprayer on the T5. <coughs> and we've got another T5 over at the uh, cows. Uh, now we've got a T6 over at the cows. So we've got a T5 on the sprayer, T6 over at the cows. A T8 and two T7s in the yard over here. Well, that's all the machinery. Gotta love the horse pronto. Bit of a staple drill within the game. Gone for the new Pottinger uh, mowers because of the swath that they give. I'll put them on the front of the tractor and then uh, pull the baler behind and then I'll give them the silage bales. Um, got to have the lizard auto loader. Uh, yes, that's where we're at at the moment. So this is all new to us, if you've been seeing any of the videos, we've just been experimenting, uh, putting some music on the videos and seeing how they're getting on. Um, there's a few of us all in on the channel, so we'll see uh, if it's just myself that um, does the commentary bits or if someone else wants to chip in. Everyone seems to be doing it on the farming simulator, it's quite a popular little thing. Um, I like uh, DJ Goham and Sealy P following virtual farmer again at the moment he's um he's got some good stuff going on especially on peterville um caught a glimpse of the silver news guy as well uh for farming sim news uh, he's got some good stuff on his channel so if you want to check him out as well if you're not already following him and um, please give us a thumbs up drop us a comment let us know what you think it's very early days for the channel so yeah any suggestions or anything that you think we should be doing um, let us know right I'm going to jump out of this I'm going to go to sleep get some rest and then we'll see what tomorrow brings Right, back at the yard. He's still spraying and loving life. Let's see how the combine's getting on. He's finished his job. Right, let's jump in him. Tidy it up. Oh, it's a beast.
Right, let's uh, in fact we'll fold that up. I'll go and jump in the tractor and then empty it all out. Mm. At the moment we don't really need to sell anything. So let's just put it in storage. So yeah, I really like this map. Uh, fields, very, very worker friendly. Plenty of them, plenty of cell points. Pretty open as well. So you can get from A to B pretty quickly if you need to. But yeah, so we'll see how we get on. Soybean harvest is going to be the big one. That's when we'll get loads of money in. And then canola next. Probably buy a couple more fields. May even join some fields together, do a bit of forestry. Uh, been talking about doing forestry for a while. So it may be something that we delve into. But yeah. That's very new to us. So we'd have to see how we get on there. But it could be a laugh. Get this parked up. How's the sprayer boy getting on? Well, he's getting through it, slowly but surely. Yeah, it won't be long now. Right, we'll let him carry on. Let's put this away. And then we'll head over to the shop and pick up the baling equipment and the mower. Actually, we might need a bigger tractor, so let's jump in this. Best start, really. That let's get around here. I 
the shops only just open so this is one thing I like about this <coughs> is the shop opens at 9 and shuts at 5 which is quite an interesting um, concept now it has caught me out a couple of times when I've been playing this on previous occasions because uh, I've gone to pick something up from the shop and it's either been shut or I've left a vehicle at the shop thinking oh, I'll go pick that up later, forgot about it gone to pick it up and the shop shut and I can't retrieve it till the next day which is well it's just one of those things really you can't do much about it, the gate is shut, you can't get out So this is our mower bale setup. We'll keep it over at the yard here, but more than likely it's going to be doing a lot of um, bale work at the cow paddock that we've got. It would help if I could drive a tractor. And again, it's that mower on the front. So I'm just going to leave these down here for the time being. Let's get that tight up to there. There we go. Uh, looks all right that quite like that all right let's get this baler over here as well too sure about the tracks on that. I did like them. Only 24 hours ago, but I'm not too sure now. But we'll stick with it. How's the sprayer boy getting on? It looks like he's still going at it. Right, well he's finished. So on that note, I think it's time to say... We'll see you another day.